Good morning. So I am ready for another relax and paint. I hope you are. We're going to paint on a charger today. Just an inexpensive charger. They're plastic. They're fun to paint on. We can use multi-surface paint to do that. And I hope that you can sit back and relax. I need a deep breath this morning. What about you? So if you're sitting there and drinking something hot or just sitting back all warm in a blanket, which I do in the morning in my recliner, and you're just watching, I want to inspire you to get a charger and paint today. So they're a dollar at Dollar Tree. I've got them at Hobby Lobby and different places. But I want you to think how much relaxation you get from a creating. So God's blessed us all with talent. Sometimes we don't know how much talent we have. And I'm hoping to unlock a little bit of that talent that you might not have known that you have. How does that sound? All right, so let's get painting. I'm going to teach you some chrysanthemums and some different simple little leaves that are all strokes. All right, a lot of people like to use a round brush. Um, I'm going to use both and let you see which one you like the most. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go to my overhead camera. So this is what we're going to do. We don't need medium on this because it's got a slick surface um, already on it. So we're going to see how this works. Oops, I wanted to put out white also. So we're using multi-surface paint. All right, so folk art, multi-surface, which paints on all types of surfaces, indoor, outdoor, mailboxes, all kinds of wonderful metal, glass, ceramic, hard plastic. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, I want one more color. Yeah, let's get a little bit of red. Oh, I know, let's put a little bit of berry wine. All right, so I'll show you how we're going to use that. My berry wine's a little thick. <laughs> That'll work, though. Okay. All right. Let's start with a 12 flat and then we'll try a round brush. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to lay out my design. So I'm going to do one big chrysanthemum right here. And I'm putting a little bit of the pink in here. The berry wine with the yellow ochre just a little bit because I just want this darkness in here, which will be a little bit of color. And you want it, I want it wet when we stroke stroke it with our with our 12. That was my 12, so I gotta clean off the pink from the berry wine color. All right, so I'm gonna put this right here so you can see me. I'm gonna pick up both colors and I'm gonna work them in. And when you do a sunflower, you get both colors at the same time. It's kind of like that, okay? So I've got a nice bit. I'm gonna lay it because it's got water in it. I didn't get out. After you wet your brush, you have to lay it on the paper towel and get the water out. All right, so I'm gonna be on the chisel. This is the chisel, okay? I'm gonna come around the back and I'm gonna pull, pull from around the back, okay? That's not a very great stroke, but it's gonna be there for a reason. We just want to hit the tips. All right, now what's going to happen, I'm going to pick up paint each stroke. Now watch, watch what happens here. We're going to push and lift, push and lift, push and lift. And you're going to see some streaking, but it's just because of the surface we're on. I'm going to try to get it where it's in a good spot for you. Okay, that's got a glare on it. I don't want like that glare. There we go, I think that's better. All right, <clears throat> so that's the circle that starts. And then we're gonna pull down. See how I go out a little bit? Look, I just want you to see the shape I want. And then I wanna come down here a little bit. All right. So let's come right in here and we're going to do another layer. So I'm going to pick up 
and add the yellow, daffodil yellow. All right, I didn't even tell you colors, did I? I told you what size brush. All right, so we're picking up daffodil yellow and yellow ochre. We did berry wine first. Okay, can you see the next layer? I'm gonna put it down like that, maybe. That's better. All right, so we did the first layer, and then we're coming out here, and I'm picking up yellow ochre and daffodil. All right, so now I want the daffodil to be coming up here. So look, I'm gonna push and pull, push down and pull, and see, I'm lifting when I'm pulling. Okay, look, push, lift, push, lift. Okay, see, I want to see all those layers. Now I'm going to pick up paint, and I could even get a little bit of that berry wine. All right, and I'm going to stroke and lift, stroke and lift. Okay, push down harder and lift. I'm going to keep coming in here. Okay, now we're going to do a couple more of those till you feel comfortable. All right, so I want to wipe on and I'm going to put another one right here, a little bit smaller. Let me use the round brush on that one for you to see. And let's just see what happens. We want it all yellow, daffodil, and stroke through the yellow ochre. So we can pull around. Pull around. Okay, so we're going to push one, two. You go get more paint if you're having a problem. See how that took all the color off? There we go. Now we're going to come right up here and put do a few more strokes. So I've got yellow ochre and a little bit of daffodil. Now let's do a second row. So I need the, daff the daffodil, the brighter yellow, because it's not showing. See that? So I've got plenty of yellow ochre, just keep picking up half of them. Pressure, relief. Release, I mean, not relief. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up more daffodil. This is the round brush and some people like it better. I love just using flat brushes, but you can use a filbert. And around to do these. But honestly, most people say, oh, Donna, I like the flat better. Now, let me explain something to you. If you have been decorative painting for a while, you have old habits. <laughs> and you might not want to change, which is fine. I'm just telling you what I use. So I do one, two. Three, four. Okay, so you should have a, um, a larger one and a small one. Now let me show you this. Let's wipe off this color, and I'm going to go back to my twelve flat. All right, and so let's come up here. I want to do little teeny buds. Okay, and I can even have one little one that comes down. All right, 
So I'm going to have it like this on the plate. So I might have another one here. Just another style of a bud. It's got a little bit more detail. Okay. So that didn't look too hard, did it? I'm trying to not get the lights on you. But I want y'all to see the strokes really good. All right, so let's take and use our 12 again. We'll wipe that paint off and do sap and citrus, sap green and citrus green. All right. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of white on the citrus green. All right, so this is a fall, really pretty fall flower. Now I let my little finger run along here. All right, so I can come in here, take my sap into there. Little teeny strokes in here. I'm going to take the dark and lead with the light and let the dark be in there. All right. So, first thing I want to do is watch this. Here's the stem. All right. I want to show you an easy leaf. The same strokes we've been making. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that looks pretty white. Let's get a little bit brighter yellow. I mean, citrus here. All right, so what this is going to do is going to help you because all you have to learn. And that's really a, a bright green. I know it looks white. I'm going to add yellow to it and see if that helps us. Okay. So look, I've got one. There's my stem. I'm getting larger as I go. Little, bigger, bigger, bigger. And you go back and fix it at the end. Okay. Oh, I can also just pull down little strokes. Watch this one again. We're going to pull down another leaf. See, this is, you're just learning this one stroke where you push down and lift heavier, heavier, heavier. All right, now let's go on this side. Little. A little bit more pressure, a little bit more pressure. And as I do layering leaves here, it's going to overlap that one. And so it just looks a little bit more natural when you do that. Isn't that kind of fun? All right. So look, as I'm picking up green, I'm going right over here and picking up a little bit of, of the daffodil yellow along with the sap green. Okay. All right, so let's go to this leaf over here. Need a little leaf here. See, I keep putting more strokes in here. All 
All right. So it is fun to come right in here. Let's say let's put another big leaf here. Turn it upside down so it's comfortable for you. One, two, get a little bit bigger each time. See, it's slightly bigger as we go. Look how bright and pretty that yellow is. Now, sometimes I use a metallic gold in here. But all these strokes are the same stroke right now. Everything I've done so far is the same stroke. Now let's put a little bit of treasure gold. We got a little treasure gold. It's water base. It used to be all solvent base. So I think you'll like this. And I'm going to use um, a liner. Let's pick up a liner. All right, I'm just going to get lots of paint on here. And I'm not using water on that, but I'm going to show you that we can push and lift the metallic gold. I'm going to push down more. All right, so I'm not happy with that one. The good thing about plastic is you can wipe it right off. All right, so we're going to push. Come around. So one thing that you can do, if I want to make this into two strokes, I can come right here and curve it around on top. All right, let me show you. I can start here and bring it around. And then I can start here and then cross it on top. All right, that's still not doing what I wanted to do. Okay. I like to make mistakes because then you can see how I fix it. Okay. Now I can also come in here and tap and lift, tap and lift. So you put some gold in there. All right, so I can move tap, tap, tap. All right, just little bits of gold. All right, we'll put some more in here. Little strokes, all of this metallic. And see, the metallic just adds to it. Especially when it's a bronzy color metallic already.
Okay, so you can put little teeny tabs inside the center. All right, you can also put your brush down in the paint. And put little dots. You see those? There you go. And I'm just going to wipe that off. I am going to touch these again and pull them down. There we go. So we just want more swirls coming out. Alrighty. Got a few little spots here and I'll take those off. All right, and so I played around with it, and I just want to show you if I'm not happy with that, it's easy to fix it. Okay, so I can come right here. I'd like to show you how to fix by adding more paint or taking some away. So so because of the surface, that's what I love about glass, we can fix anything. Okay. You can use a Q-tip or a folded paper towel. All right, so isn't that fun? So I like to go around sometimes too and just do scrolling around the outside edge. We can do it with metallic or we can just do it with our green. So I can use citrus and sap, citrus green and sap green. I stroke both the brush through both colors. Okay. You can go all the way around the edge if you choose. And scroll work is wonderful too, because look. I just pick up more paint. There we go. So you decide. I'm going to show you a finished picture when you want, when you come back to look for this. I'm going to continue going all the way around and sign it. Take and sign with pride your piece. And there is chrysanthemums and new leaves. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Have a great day.